Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Mind Over Magic. We're almost ready to build medical beds, which will be great for Dwellix particularly because they have 35 out of 175 health. Class was delayed for teacher mana. Let's get some of these rats going. The rain has abated. If we can kill some of those rats and get some more viscera, we can do another superior repel fog. Which uh, will just reveal even more of the map for us, which is great news for everybody. How is our materials looking? Materials are looking good, and the rain just finished. So I think what I want to do, and the day just kind of rolled over. I want to tear off the roof of this room. And the roof of our little staircase here and then do do floor do floor like this do a wall one two three four I realize I have to tear this floor off too do a wall, one, two, three, four. Put the roof back on. Expand the staircase up. Rebuild the wall over here, one, two, three, four. Rebuild the roof. With a little bit of wonk. <laughs> Perfect. And then what, once, once this construction is all done, we will move our bedroom upstairs and then we can build across to our, our second tower over there. Still not sure what I want to do with this room here. Almost done with the research. Very close. Almost there. We're still still nobody rat hunting, huh? Well, what are you gonna do? Ah, oh, we did get the smoke sticks out there though. No more research selected. So we want to do basic rituals next. Unreachable object. Well, I mean it's unreachable because we haven't built the staircase yet. Spiral stair not supported. Is that because you haven't built the stair, or did something go wrong here? Medical bed! Phoenix flower is needed. Okay, so let's get some more phoenix flowers. Are those two bad boys? Might as well harvest this tree, because it's kind of in the way. Yeah, something seems to have busted about this staircase here. Blocked by blue- Oh! Well, can I move this to the opposite side? Maybe up a little bit. There we go. I didn't realize the blue- the blue- the blue torch occupying this same, like, level of staircase is kind of funny. Ah, superior repel fog. Let's, uh, get this rolling. Get all of our teachers down here. Repel this bad boy across the entire world. And get our med bed going. Good. We have at least one. Ah, it takes up space. A lot of space, though. Hmm. Well, we could do... <laughs> this is kind of dumb. But we could do them, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Like, I think... Oh, you can't do it like that. Okay, so you... We could do it like this, though. One, two. So let's put this one here. And then put a second one next to it across the way. You need more phoenix flower and more ice petal. Let's go ahead and queue up these ice petals as well. They're going to repel the fog all the way across the map, which is great news for me. And then once we get this basic ritual going, we'll be able to graduate our students. Because right now they're not really doing anything. <laughs> Because they've learned all they can learn for now. Right, I should 
should be done soon. Wham. There we go. Look how far away it is. Very good. I'm proud of you guys. Let's mine this misty crystal while we're out here. Got some smoke pearl. Explore the underschool, wandering, or the mage's grave. Used in recipes to make wands and certain roof decorations. Well, we should probably queue up some more wands. We do have um, those uh, wands we made last time. Let's go get a water wand. I do like the earth wand a lot. And then let's do the air wand again. I think those are all pretty good. Oh, it looks like I have to rebuild the staircase. There we go. Oh. There. Now they can build it. Halfway through basic rituals. Let me get rid of it. I would love to have a teacher whose primary job is to harvest, because having just like non -har or harvestables just kind of lying around because that's nobody's primary job, I think is kind of slowing things down. Understandably. Get another gut berry going, another bitter rice. Our garden's looking really nice outside. The hog has advanced. That's not a problem. Building our medical bed. Fantastic. All right, Dwellix. Medical rest. <laughs> You're, you need it, my friend. There you go. I wonder how long it takes them to heal. 5% per hour. So if they're missing like 80% of their health, it's going to take them 40 hours. Did I do that right? That math right? That doesn't sound right. 16 hours. Oh, I was like, what happened to my classroom? It's because the wall is gone. So we have a lot of building to be doing. But that'll probably get handled tomorrow. Because everybody is asleep. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> the, the ritual completing sound is so loud compared to the rest of the game. So rustic furnishings is an interesting one. Hardy foliage is a maybe. I do like the idea of fully stocked because then pantry to be able to store your crops, meals, and reagents seems nice. These ones we don't really need right now. And nobody's died yet, so... I mean, I guess you could use Viscera for decomposition stuff. And we do have Arcane Scrolls, so let's go ahead and use our Arcane Scrolls on the Pantry. You can get... This, this is when you get really exciting with the, the arch support and stuff. It extends support from a wall. Um, so you don't have to be building a wall for support. So then you can really get wild with the architecture of your stuff. Yeah, this guy is going to be here for quite a long time. Which is why I'd like to get another medical bed going. Ah, the ritual si uh, sigil is here. We need more viscera and more phoenix flower for that. So it might be a really high priority. I think actually the the sigil is going to take priority over a second medical bed because if we can get the sigil going, we can hire our students and get new students and keep the cycle going and then also gain three people to do jobs uh, outside of the three professors we have right now all right looks like they're um they're over 50 percent again they've gained 70 or 65 so after one more day i think they should be ready to go Blasting all the materials in every direction. 
Very good. Class begins. Not really needed. Oh, I should upgrade, update you. Meal ingredients and meals and wands are off. And then same thing here. Meal ingredients, wands, meals. Don't need to store those downstairs because they have their own storage. And eventually once we get pantry uh, researched, we'll be able to put a pantry in here instead of just a random chest. I would love for you guys to finish this room. I'm not 100% sure why they haven't done that. Like, so in- what's the, her name delivered a bunch of crap? And then they just kind of ignored it. Recharge your wands. Wellix is so close to being fully healed, which is great. Ah, now she's building the staircase. Good job. I just had to talk shit about them for a little bit, and then they, <laughs> and they finally got around to doing it. Yeah, we're definitely going to be doing the ritual sigil next. Very close on Viscera, actually. So we need to hunt a couple more rats here. And then the phoenix, or I mean the... Was it the phoenix feather? It is phoenix flower, not the ice flower. So let's actually... Well, we do need that for the medical bed, but... Let's see. Who's got a harvest harvest ability? It's Gertrude. And then let's make that high on Kingsley, too, just so, like, people have things to do. Ah, Gertrude is now healing. Understandable. Because Dwellix is better. Alright, they got part of the second chunk of the school built. Slowly but surely. Yeah, I think once we get off of, once we finish the pantry, I might lower Willow's priority for research to just kind of similar to other levels. So we have her, actually maybe Gertrude should be, or uh, Gertrude, Willow should be the one of the ones that has like high priority harvesting. Because everybody else seems to be kind of like low on it. There we go. Now we're getting some stuff harvested. I could turn off classwork. But then our students really wouldn't be doing anything. Ah. I think the ritual sigil might be, like, really, really important, actually. To the point you might want to prioritize it over some other things. Like maybe it's better than having a medical bed right now, because we're getting our people healed up, which is a good thing, but maybe it's more important to have a pipeline of your students and your teachers going. Although everything seems to be going pretty well. Maybe it's more important if you were doing relentless mode, where you need to be, like, ultra-efficient with things. All the, the teachers are building... Our school, or our class, or our bedroom should be back in order soonish. Just need to finish these two floor bits. And then once this part is done, we'll move the bedroom upstairs and we can turn this room into whatever we want. So that's exciting. Still missing a lot of Phoenix flower. Oh, we should put a door in there. Otherwise, Willow's going to be trapped. There we go. Back to the bedroom. Red bedroom. Minus one luxury. That's fine. They can deal with minus one luxury. For the first time, we're actually getting kind of low on wood. Look, look how much iron we have. A refining beast for creating basic stone and metal reagents. Lavalina Sty. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's where you can get iron from? <laughs> the 
Grog has advanced again. That's understandable. Gertrude's almost better. 11 to go. Almost got a roof on our... on our stair hall. There we go. Then we just need to finish this room, and then tomorrow we can move our bedroom upstairs. And then we can put a door right here. They'll probably go ahead and just move you guys right now. It's like a bird that's making like <laughs> noises that's freaking me out. Thought somebody was yelling. There we go. Phoenix Kiss is being harvested. So close to being able to build yes all right ritual sigil is available now let's go ahead and cue that up let's just throw it like right down here exciting and that means once that's built tomorrow we can probably get our students hired and then bring some new students on very exciting for everybody involved. Yeah, the two things I would really like to see from our new hires is like a harvester, a primary harvester, and then a primary researcher would be really nice. So you could just have somebody left on high research and just let them chew through all the research available. Because right now, Gertrude's, well, uh, Gertrude could be the full-time harvester, but she's got, like, a lot going on right now to, uh, if we could turn, like, wands, tending, and chopping down, maybe she could be our, our full-time harvester or something like that. Or it might even be the fact that research is so high for her that there's always going to be research. So maybe the primary researcher is really all we need. Did you guys hear that spooky music? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Dwellix is building our ritual circle. Fantastic news. Oh, not quite. And there's a damn void shroom. There we go. Back to... There, all done. Okay. Hire staff. Promote a student into a permanent staff. <gasps> no! We need adept scrolls. Okay. Okay, so we could graduate, which will leave behind scrolls based on their skill, wand level, and medallions earned. So I think it makes sense to do a graduation. First. Who's got the most... Uh... Two medallions? Two medallions. Okay. Let's go with Arthur. Or actually, you know what? I want Arthur to join my crew. Let's get rid of Blythe. Not get rid of, but graduate. An efficient... Oh, we get eight Adept Scrolls. So we can definitely hire a... a we can hire Arthur based on that. I'm almost thinking we should graduate Clara as well. Have Willow preside. And, uh, and then once this is done, we will hire Arthur to join the crew. This is very exciting. Somebody get rid of this damn void shroom. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it was sucking all our mana, and we were, tr we were busy trying to graduate here. 15 Adept Scroll. Hell yeah. All right, back to back to the ritual. Gr not graduate. Uh, I screwed it up. Retire. Hire staff. Arthur. Uh, left out. <laughs> let's, uh, let's have Dwellix. He's kind of a badass. And Willow. It will cost six to hire, but Arthur will be hired. And uh, there we go. This is exciting. Our, uh, let's move our stuff as well upstairs. Move. It's like a door 
confirmed for the for the teachers up here. All right, cool, cool, cool. And then let's build our next door here. And then we can decide what we want to do with that room and this room. I don't even know what to do. Maybe we should move you in here. Like, that seems useful. Make another blue room in here, perhaps? I don't know if you, like, is there a ritual room? Is it a workshop? They just study? That's all for research, right? Be a classroom? No. Not a bedroom. Wouldn't be a rec room, I don't think, either. Well, how do you make a common room, actually? The common room requires beds, dining tables, and recreation furnishings. It has to be private and towered and have 15 or greater luxury. That's wild. <laughs> Maybe we'll get there eventually. For now, we'll stick with us our austere bedroom. <laughs> how, how could we make it a better bedroom? Oh, a private bed. A dormitory would be good. Three or more plain beds. Ah, oh, it must have a window. Oh. Oh, so maybe that's something we want to queue up for research, huh? Arthur's been... Arthur's got... Oh, I thought Arthur had sunglasses. Arthur has a sick eye patch, though, which is pretty cool. All right, Arthur, what are you good at? You're a good constructor. You're our primary constructor right off the bat. Uh, you're good at charging things. Medical rest is always high. Teaching is important. Uh, aid is important as well. You're also a good miner, which is great, because we can lower everybody else's mining ability. Or not ability, but desire to do so. Alchemy is great, um, because we don't have anybody else who's good at alchemy. Carving, sure. Repair is good. Uh, medical. Oh, Scrivener, sorry. Not medical. And cleaning. You like cleaning. That's cool. That can be important for you. And research. Okay, so we still don't have a primary researcher. So we'll let Willow kind of like bear the brunt of that for now. We've finished the research on the pantry. So what is also important? Well, we don't have enough uh, arcane scrolls for any of these more advanced stuff. So, ritual accessory gives us luxury and counts towards creating certain ritual rooms. Dancing the night away. Hardy foliage we can't research. Light my fire and luxurious lighting we could do. Domesticated uh, more domesticated plants seems nice. Potions is good. Maybe just like grave thoughts because it's like back there. And then lead into delightful decomposition. So we could get sinew, viscera, and ectoplasm from a... A contained... Slime cube? <laughs> I kind of love that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very exciting. Well, we're doing good. How's the, how's the fog looking? It's pretty far away, so I think we're doing okay there. Resources we're doing alright on. We should probably cut down these trees just so we can uh, kind of get them out of the way and utilize them as we see fit. We should get a light going in this room here. Put it one higher. I screwed it up again. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. What's new here? Storage! Pantry! That's right. Put the pantry, maybe like back here. Kind of out of the way. This is just like our storage room. Properties, contents, animal parts, plant parts, meal ingredients, meals, perfect. So this one, clear all. Allow all, except plant parts, meal ingredients, wands, and meals. And 
then we're just gonna move you into our no research left oh no we research grave thoughts move we will move you just kind of like over here all right oh we should uh summon more students i forgot what do we got for wands? Ritual time, 15 minutes. No fire wand available. That's right. We have water wand. Let's have Arthur do the summon. <laughs> he looks so cool. Arthur the cool teacher is what I, I have determined is the case. I'm thinking maybe we turn this room into like the student's bedroom or something like that. Like, could you, could you make a bedroom that is, like, multi-tiered story, or floor-wise? That won't work. Uh, like, could you have, like, a ladder going from, like... I don't know. I don't think this room is wide enough for that to happen. So maybe for now we just turn you into just kind of a funny little extra room. That's as much wonk as that that thing can handle. I kind of think it's funny, funny wonky to be like off kilter like that. And then this could be the the students' room here, like that. And we'll leave this as the teacher's room. Get some light going in there. Where are windows in the grand scheme of research now that I think about it? I know I saw them. Oh, even here, actually. Oh, but it is stuck behind arcane scrolls. So maybe as we get... We definitely need to get our students trained up so they can go down into the underschool. Um, but yeah, let's get, get some more students up in here. So in student, we, we've selected the water wand. Let's get the dark wand going. Willow, you summon the dark wand user. And then we'll summon another student with... Uh, what do we got? Water, dark... Maybe air again would be a good one. Get one more student in here. Everybody's just kind of rumming around. There we go. We've summoned Enzo. We have Danny and Enzo. All right, and then the next crew, we got dark, we got water, air. Uh, who's our air user? Kingsley? Yeah, Kingsley. Summon your, your apprentice air wand user. Fantastic news. We have a modest grave used to bury a character's corpse will not spawn a spirit. Alright, we don't need to do that. Nobody's died yet. New austere bedroom. The student room will be green. Can I assign people? Access? Oh, sure enough. Uh, Enzo? And... Floyd. And the other one. Danny. Yeah, this won't be... No staff allowed in here. These are only students. And then, uh... No students, all staff. Can I do this for all of them? Copy settings, yes. Cool. Copy. Paste. 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 It'd be kind of cool if you could do it for the room rather than the, the cot or whatever it is, but that's fine. No research queued up. We've researched delightful decomposition. The next step. Let's go for ritual accessories. And then maybe we could do the en enchantophone <laughs> would be after that. 
Uh, what did we just learn? It was the, the slime garden, right? Midden jelly. Refining beast that processes non-humanoid corpses and turns them into useful ingredients. Maybe we do it like so? Get rid of the stone? And get rid of this sun shadow tree? And then we could have a midden jelly? It's very exciting. I don't think we need a ton of midden jelly, to be honest. Let's go ahead and fast forward. We don't have enough- we don't have enough anything to superior repel fog. Oh, wild! It actually changes each time you repel the fog, I think. You see that? It's a uh, smokestick and phoenix flower and ice petal this time? That's really interesting. What are you? Eat any food crops you are growing. When eating, they will be frightened by nearby staff or a scarecrow. -a. Huh. You little monster bird. Interesting. Well, <laughs> let's pause the episode there. Well, um, we've done a lot of good work today. For now, though, let's, I'll, I'll uh, leave you there. If you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Ma Mind Over Magic or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.